What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Today we're going to be rearranging the storage room a little bit. Uh, if you remember from the last episode, we were struggling with our stuff out here. Which is fine, it's been holding up, but honestly I'm tired of putting things into different places as far as like stocking wise. So I'm kind of excited to get this done. I've built up some of our funds again. And I think I've figured out how we're going to do this. Um, we're going to have to move all these boxes. So we might run a day because I already bought all the inventory for today mostly yeah we can restock this later let's go ahead and open the store run a day and then um once we get this back room sort of cleared out of all these extra boxes because this is just overstock uh this can probably stay here this is another rack and then these are just extra product that we'll probably get out of here once um the day is over how do I end up with so much stuff? I've been buying less. I don't know how I ended up with so much more. People have been buying the books at a normal rate. It's not bad, but it's not like they're buying us out immediately, which is really nice. Uh, it was kind of like that the first the first couple of days, but now it's a little slower and it's easier to keep up with as far as stocking the books. Because half the time I'm at the register anyways. I still haven't bought our third cashier or the fourth register. Mostly because I was waiting to do the, the storage upgrade to see if I need to buy, like how many racks I needed to buy. And then if I could rearrange the store mostly because I don't know. I still like this middle part. Uh, but there is wasted space on the inside. I don't know if you can tell. And then also there's a lot of room between the freezers. And it would make it kind of claustrophobic. Uh, if I moved them over and put a third section in there. But I also don't need that third section quite yet because we don't have any... I'm not buying another license for a little bit. Could I potentially put a shelf in the middle? Just have like a line of shelves here? Maybe. But that would look kind of dumb. And then also, I like the breakfast nook. I might turn this actually about 90 degrees. 215 on your card there. Okay. Hello, sir. You've got a book. You've got some cleaner. Lots of scalloped potatoes. More books. A lot of sugar. Might want to watch sugar intake. Eggs. $14 even. Two DPs and cheese. Shampoo. Beer and pizza, you got your priorities. Oops. Come on, where did it go? I moved the registers over a little- Oh, he gave me cash. I moved the registers over a little bit, so these guys are clipping through more than usual. And so I can barely reach the cards now. <laughs> I was just moving them to see, like, rearranging how I wanted them to look. But I guess I moved them to a different spot than before. I guess I can move it over again. Maybe at the end of the day. I'm not gonna do it in the middle. Alright. Sorry, ma'am. I'm gonna check on our stuff over here. Oh yeah, the cat food needs to be restocked. That's all stocked up. So there's no more left in this box. We can just throw away the box. This shelf could be restocked. The books are still looking good. How are the books doing? Eh, could stand to restock the yellow ones, I think. I don't know. At this point, it's hard to tell if people are milling around looking for items or if they're waiting for a register. I think they're mostly waiting for registers. And now it's 9 o'clock, so maybe two more people will come in. Two more new people. But we should mostly just be getting people out of here at this point. So $40.10 for you. Hello, chicken, cleaner, vodka. Lots of vodka for you. Lots of beer. And pizza. Okay, you got 154, 48. We're getting a lot of orders that are over 200 consistently now. So it's really nice that we can get that profit going. Um, you're buying a ton of sushi and salmon. 224. Have a good day. Got cheese. Flour. See, you got beer. Okay. Lots of pizza. You throw a party? Am I invited? Oops. Not if I charge you incorrectly. <laughs> Alright. Lots of, uh, lots of red juice there. You got tomatoes and apple juice. Let's not give you $21 back. Alright, I just checked out my last customer. They've still got a whole bunch. Well, not, not too many. But we're going to, uh, start stocking a tiny bit so that we can get those boxes out of there. Um, breakfast looks no looking okay. We just gotta give it a little bit of juice. Come on. Get down there. There we go. And, uh, more cleaner. Ooh, we almost ran out of dog food. That's, uh, the close call. People asking where the dog food is. But we're all good to go, and I think we still have one more left in this box, so we can put it back for now. The books we did stock during the day, so there's only a couple missing. That makes my life a lot easier at the end here. Nothing totally empty. Just gotta stock this second shelf. There we go. Red box. Red books. Red books. Put that back up. Green books. 
And we got the colors books. We're good on that. The blue books are stocked up. The black books need help. There you go. Yellow. I think we still had one more free spot here. There we go. One spot doesn't really make a difference for the books, but as you can tell for the dogs, the dog food, it does. I don't know. Better be safe than sorry, I guess. And then probably the dish tablets one more time. Yep. Two. Is this empty yet? No, there's still some in here. Uh, we still got dish soap. We did that one already, though. Did all the cleaners. Um, I usually do the coffees and the flowers, so I'm going to do go do that really quick. Okay, I think they've gotten most of the stocking done. Um, if there's anything that they put somewhere that they're not supposed to, I'll catch it when I'm doing inventory. But for now, we're just going to start working on these boxes. I believe this is the chips. Plenty of room in there. We can throw that in there. And so we're just going to follow this process of just emptying the last of the beach, these boxes and then um, throwing away empty boxes so we can clear out some space to maneuver. Maybe stock a little bit if we find it needs to be stocked. What is this? This is a keg of this color so let's go see if it needs to be stocked because it's still six and six so that means either they haven't stocked it or nobody bought anything but it looks like no uh they haven't stocked it yet somebody bought something so i got rid of most of it what is this this is the hummus got the tuna place that on top so we have a couple of extra boxes but i think it'll be okay we don't have to move this row down anyways uh we just gotta move this this rack over here and then i think we can just open this up already and stick it right here. Aha! Perfect. And then I'm probably gonna put the pet food here, here, and here. And then I don't know how I'm gonna place the books yet. I'll figure it out in a minute. Cool. So we just happened to clear this out. And then I think I wanna put it this way. I don't I don't think it really makes a difference which way it goes. Just so we could fit less back there than we could over here. Hmm. I did want to kind of move this down, but I don't think this can move any further over because of this shelf. So honestly, keep that there. And then I think I'm just going to turn this back. So my initial thought is to move the milk up here. And then put the dog food down here. The cat food. The two cat foods over here. And then two, four, six books. But then what are we going to do if we need to rearrange or like use an extra shelf to sort something that won't go, that won't place. You know what I mean? So I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. I might get rid of a second shelf of something. I just don't know what. Probably flour, and then we can cut back on shelves in general. Even the chickens and potatoes, like, I- It's been a while since we sold out of everything, so I might cut back on those. I might just go back down to two shelves of each instead of four. Let's move the chicken to the bottom. Potatoes down. Okay, if I move the beer over here, and then this beer to the bottom, I could put more food items here. Yeah, I can move the vodka over too. Okay, I can put the cleaner over here. I know I moved the beer and I was trying to figure out that side of the room, but I think I can put the cleaner away now because I can kind of picture it already. If we put these here and then I don't usually separate the small box stuff. I could move the clotted cream and the lasagna and then put the other cleaning stuff over here. Nah, it's okay. We'll just put them over there. Is this an empty box? No, there's still one in there. Although the fabric cleaner... I can move this frozen stuff here. This is pizza and ice cream. You can move the clotted cream and uh, lasagna over. No, I can put the clotted cream and lasagna here. Okay. Yeah, no, I like that. With the frozen stuff there. Yeah, that works. And then... No, you know what? Let's move the dish tablets. The dishwasher tablets over here. Move the TP down. Move these cleaners over here. Put the fabric softener up top. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Now the dog and cat food. I don't think I need this much milk. Now that we have a bunch of items to sell, we don't sell too much milk like we were before. So we can move that milk up. We'll put the dog food here, the cat food is on the books. And then we still have one empty space for organization if we need it. Okay. Okay, so all the books are up. The dog food and the cat food are in. I was thinking of putting the like cascade boxes here, but I don't know if that's enough space for how much cascade we go through in a day. But where would I put it instead is the question. Okay, so I put the tablets up here for now. I might end up moving back to the bottom just to keep everything together. Um, like all the just stuff together. But I'm gonna try this out. If it doesn't work, we'll find we'll figure out something else. But I combine the two bleaches. I think it'll be okay. And then I have the three cleaners across here plus the fabric softener. I don't know what I plan to have up here. I think it was just to move this 
back up if I needed more space. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it looks fine, right? I don't think we'll need that much more fabric softener. Yeah, okay. This is a good start. Let's, um, let's end for the day so that we can order our stuff in the morning. Ooh, lots of things are down today. Um, today's gonna be more expensive to stock because we gotta fill some of our shelves out here, like the books. All right, so I'm just finishing up some last stocking. It's definitely gonna cost us a pretty penny today. Bought a lot of stuff. All right, I'm pretty sure that was our last box. I definitely didn't get everything that I wanted to get. Like, I didn't get the yogurt. I forgot hot sauce for some reason, so I'll go ahead and order that really quick. Anyways, we got everything in over here. All the new stuff and all the old stuff is all situated. So we're gonna run the day. We'll see how it goes, whether or not uh, we bought the right ratio of stuff or not. Always up in the air for the day. Uh, until we run a couple of days, we kind of get a sense of what people are buying. There's also this box of dog food over here. There's only one left, I believe, so we'll let this camp out right here. Until somebody buys something. The shampoo needs to be restocked. I don't know why they missed a couple. Plus the dish soap? What the heck? But, uh, let's see what we can get going today. Let's see how much money we spent. What do you guys think? Do, we, do you think we're gonna make level 80 by today? Does anyone be able to unlock, I think, more sections of the store? Store? I'm not sure. These sections of the store are level or uh, licenses. It's after level 80. Um, I don't even know if it's like at level 80 exactly or if it's after level 80. But check that as soon as we give her her change. One dollar and seventy cents back. All right, you should be okay for now. Let's go check our licenses. Management. Oh yeah, let's pay our bills as well. Bills, licenses. Next store level is 81 for the next product license, which is cakes and soda. Um, I really don't know where we're gonna put that in the storage room. Then there's also more cleaner and toilet paper and paper towels, so... Oh boy. We'll have to see. And then we can definitely already purchase all of these sections. But like, I don't really need store sections, I just need storage. I don't know, we'll cross the bridge when we get there. But for now, I think this size store is good enough. Especially because we can still rearrange to add in more shelves once we get the next license. And then we can still store things in the store. As storage. We would have to stock it ourselves, but um, at least we have the new product and we keep on moving upwards. 543 for you. You got milk and fries. Lovely. 1235 on your card. Have a good day. You got cleaner and chips. Great combo. Just don't dress your chips in cleaner, please. That would be that would be pretty bad. <laughs> Alright. This is so much more relaxing. No, I don't have to like restock the books if they run out. My guys are on it. Five dollars and seven cents back for you. Have a good day. Got milk and pasta. Ooh, how's your cat? Did you buy the tuna for them? Fifty-four seventeen. Have a good day. Got cleaner and tea. Lovely. Some wine to knock back that whiskey. I don't know if you bought whiskey. Vodka. Vodka was you bought. No change for you. Have a good day. I still kind of want to check on them just in case. We can at least stock the dog food. The red books are low, but I think they'll get to them eventually. Slash, if it's lower, I think they prioritize it before everything else anyways. Although these dish tablets, I trust them, but at the same time, I don't. I'll check when the sun goes down to see if it's still low. Alright, the sun is down. It looks like it's doing okay so far. I guess they would reprioritize if it wasn't. Um, but so far it looks like it's holding, so I'm gonna go turn on the light and get back to my register. Oh yeah, see, it looks like they restocked it, but then somebody bought three or four of them in one go. Rang them up myself. Books are looking okay. Uh, pet food's looking okay. Cleaner's looking okay. I think we did good on the ratios. We'll see when we get back there what's empty and what's not. You get $12.99 back. Hmm. You don't have a penny? Do I happen to have a penny on you? I already shorted the other guy. I can't really short this guy too. Your punishment, sir. All right, let's check out the storeroom. Let's see how it's going. We did good on the milk, I believe. There's still milk out there, but it's not totally empty. Yeah, see, there's one spot missing. Okay, the milk is going to be okay if we leave it like that. We also have the books look okay. The pet food looks okay. TP is a little low, um, but the dish tablets are holding up. And so is the fabric softener. Oh, there he goes. But I mean, there's only three missing from the shelf, I believe. Yeah, I think overall the bleach is okay. We could probably bump it down to one bleach and one cleaner. 
if you really need the shelf space after the next license. That is the thing we can do. How's the chicken potatoes? That one still has four, and that one still has four, which means they haven't stocked it yet. It's full up anyways, mostly. There's only three missing. Yeah, okay. I mean, seems like we got the ratios right. I'm not going to change anything after this. Works for me. All right, everything is stocked up. Let's see how much we made and how much we ended up overspending. Not much, actually, which is crazy. I didn't think that was possible. An upgrade not putting us super below. Well, I'll take it. Start next day, go ahead and do a little save. Make sure we get that cereal pricing in before we do the outro. It's gonna be crispy cereal, 608. So we're gonna put it at 612. Make 376 on it. Perfect. All right, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like down below, subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of Supermarket Simulator. That episode, we're probably gonna do uh, the product licenses because I'll do some grinding in between. I'll get to level 81 so we unlock those. And uh, make sure you turn notifications on so you get notified when that episode does drop. I'll meet you there.